everybody, welcome to Excel Video 518. I'm Nate Moore, and I'm on site for the next three weeks at three different practices, three different parts of the country. It's one thing to do examples with sample data and play with sample data. It's a whole other thing to sit down with your data and your workflow and your issues and your provider data and all the things that can make a big difference in your practice. And I'd love to sit down with your data when you're ready. What we're going to do today is move a couple of things out of the way. I might leave tour here for a, a bit to show you three different things on the insert menu. The first thing I want to show you is what a 2D chart is, and it's this here. So what I'm going to do is delete it, and then we'll, we'll build a new one, and I'll show you how it works. What Excel will do is say, if this is hard to read or you want a different graphical representation of what we're trying to show here, you can click 2D chart, and what Excel will do is build for you a well you can do a couple of different kinds of charts you can do a bar or column column chart and you can stack or unstack the data with these options here part of the challenge is there's the, you're limited to the data that's on your map to the data that's on your chart let me show you what i mean if we bring the layer pane back if we look at this i'm charting the um, the referrals here's the the sum of referrals by zip code and it's showing the largest first and I could come over here and by clicking, I could show the smallest instead of the largest. But there are not a whole lot of options here. What you can do is I could add another field here. Let's say instead of just showing the referred amount, I could show the total. And I'm going to show both of those here. Now I've got referred and total in my legend. And let's get the legend out of the way. And you can see referred and total here. And it will chart both sets of data. And again, I could do it stacked, bar versus column. I'm still limited to the data that's on the map. If I can do this and make the total, and now, now the, the total is what's being showed, the gold, as opposed to the, the referred being showed first and sorting that way. But I'm limited to that. If you wanted to see something else, if you want to see a different piece of data that's not in your chart, you can't do it. What you can do is simply chart the data that's in your map. Does that make sense? That's what we're limited to, and that's what a 2D chart will do. And every time I click it, it doesn't toggle on and off. It builds you another chart. So if I click it again, I'm going to get another one. So we'll delete our way through this. There they go. And that's what a 2D chart does. A text box is exactly what you'd expect. If I click over here, now I have a text box that I added here, and I can add another text box. Here are my options. I can put a title, a description, and it will show me what it's going to look like. So this is another text box, and you could you can do this, and then you can play with the fonts. You got all the font options here, and bold and underline some colors. And you've got a text box that you could put to emphasize a point on a chart. That's what I did here with this text box. If it's helpful for you, that's how to do it. And again, text box doesn't turn doesn't turn them on and off. It adds a new one. When, last time, map labels is a toggle. Flat map is a toggle. These are not toggles. These add another one. Let's go to legend. And we'll get rid of the field list again. So here is a legend. And again, legend is not a toggle. When... When you have a legend on the chart, the legend goes away. If you want to put the legend off the chart and delete it, then the legend button is no longer gray, and you can add it, and now the legend button is gray because I have a legend on the chart. Once I have a legend on the chart, I can size it and move it and do what I want to do. And as I add more fields here, I will get more information in my legend. But I'm... Again, a little bit limited as to what I can do here. All I can do if I right-click is move it around. I can't change much about what happens there. I can double-click and, and edit the, the, the font and the name and some of those kind of things, but I'm limited to that in terms of options. That's what I wanted to show you about the Insert menu. Some options to put a chart there, a, a bit limited. Some options to throw a text box onto your map if you want to insert something or highlight something important. And a legend that simply turns it on. You can't turn it off. Delete turns it off. But legend turns it on. 
Stay tuned next time. We're going to play with these boxes here, and I'll show you how they work. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.